Well, you may recognize Kelly Ben Simone from The Real Housewives of New York, but she's been a little bit busy since leaving the franchise. One of her many, many, many talents. She's got a serious knack for real estate. Kelly, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks, Jesse, for having me today. I'm excited to see where some of your former castmates are living these days in some beautiful homes. So start us off right here in New York City. You're taking us to the Upper East Side. Whose home's this? This is Ramona Singer's home. It was mm. featured in Architectural Digest. Beautiful. It's beautiful, yeah. beautiful open spaces, 16th floor, wow. and it is totally renovated. Four well, bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. Okay, how much is it gonna cost you to live like this housewife? It's just normal. Worth of 4.9 million. 4.995 4 million, 9. 5 million <laughs> to live like Ramona Singer. Exactly. Those views, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, beautiful. All right, next up, we've got Bethany Frankel. It is in Bridgehampton. It was built in 1910. Wow. Gorgeous shingle style. Mm -hmm. okay. It's seven bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms. It has 4,239 square feet, so it's a very, very big house. The price tag is not so high. Okay, what's, what is the price tag? Because when I think Hamptons and I hear seven rooms like that, I'm thinking a minimum five, maybe even 10 million. Exactly, it's $2.7 million. So as Hamptons go, Bethany Frankel, she may have got a steal here. All right, we're leaving the East Coast, heading to the West Coast. Former Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast member Carlton Gebbia has a very eccentric style and also a very, very beautiful home. So we're talking about five bedrooms, six and a half bathroom, 15,000 square feet. Wow. 36 foot tall ceilings. I mean, they're just massive. A fountain, a pool, and a confessional, Jesse. A confessional in the I home? Know. How much does a castle like this go for in Beverly Hills? It was originally 22 million, it's now 17. 17 million, mm -hmm. pocket change. The... And this next one is not a real housewives home, but Mauricio Umansky, husband of Kyle Richards of Beverly Hills fame, did just sell this massive home to a familiar face that I think people at home are gonna know. Trevor Noah. Wow. This house is unbelievable. It's wow. in Bel Air. I mean, open spaces, oh. all modern. How many bedrooms are we talking about on this home? We're talking three bedrooms, four bathrooms, and it's on 1.3 acres. So, so what, what's the price tag? What are we talking about here? $20 million. Three bedrooms. $20 home, million. $20 dollars. million. <laughs> dollars. It's a good thing Trevor Noah's show is doing so well. I'm sure he can afford this. You know, I, I love to see your passion for real estate. You've always had so many things going on. You're such a busy woman. What's life been like for you since Real Housewives? You know, I'm just loving the real estate market. Hey guys, hey, it's Kelly Cohen Ben Simone. Welcome to Real Estate Thursday. Today, I get to showcase yeah. and celebrate all these beautiful homes and all these properties, and I'm so excited. You about. really have a, your ear to the ground and a great pulse on what's going on in real estate around the country, as well as New York City, which is good for me because I might be looking to buy a place. Yeah, let's soon. go. Look so together. I know who to call oh, right fun. now. I would love that. That's so right. we'll see That's each right. other. We'll walk around. And I'll show you the most beautiful. Oh, things. I can't wait to do that. Thank you. I know Yay. who to call. Thank you Yay, so much Jesse. for stopping by, too. It's going to be great. <laughs> Lending us also your incredible expertise.